Patching DB systems includes three separate actions. Updating DB systems, updating its Linux OS. Patching DB systems, patching server components, which are grid infrastructure and storage management kit. Patching database homes. Prerequisites for patching are. Firewall should allow communication on ports. Connectivity to the applicable Swift endpoint for object storage, using service gateway. A service gateway is needed to reach the object storage service for database backups and patching. And to reach the Oracle YUM repository for OS updates. For OS update, VCN must be configured to allow access to YUM repository. Slash U01 file system must have at least 15 gigabytes free disk space. Cluster where it should be up and running. In case of RAC, make sure all the nodes are up and running. Creating service gateway. A service gateway is needed to reach the object storage service for database backups and patching, and to reach the Oracle YUM repository for OS updates. Root rules, we need to add a rule in root tables to allow the connection between VCN and service gateway. Egress rule need to be added in the security list to allow the traffic to go out from the public subnet to go out to the object storage. Updating DB systems. Updating DB systems represents updating their operating systems. 1. Open PuTTY and connect to DB and change the current user to Oracle. Pseudo su Oracle. 2. Make sure the database Oravu is up and running. SRVCTL status database DB dollar Oracle underscore unt name. 3. Stop the database service. SRVCTL stop database DB dollar Oracle underscore unt name stop option immediate verbos. 4. Change the current user to root. Pseudo su. 5. 5. Identify the region identifier by running the following curl command. Take a note of it. 6. Download the repo file and the version lock file into the temporary directory. Replace the region underscore name with the region identifier name obtained through the curl command. 7. Copy the downloaded files to their locations in the internal yum directory. 8. Run the update command. yum update. 9. After the system is rebooted, open putty and log into the system again. 10. Change the current user to root then obtain the current release and verify that the OS is updated. Pseudo su. Unnamed r. 11. Change the current user to Oracle and start the database. Pseudo su Oracle. SRVCTL status database db dollar Oracle underscore unt name. SRVCTL start database db dollar Oracle underscore unt name. Patching DB system involves grid home but not database home which can be done through OCI console and DBCLI as described below. Patching DB system from OCI console. 1. Log into the OCI console, then open the DB page. 2. Under the resources section, click on the patches link. 3. Click on the ellipsis menu on the right side of the patch line. We can apply the patch by selecting the apply option from the menu. Now patching DB system from DBCLI. 1. In PuTTY session, shut down the database. SRVCTL stop database DB dollar Oracle underscore unt name stop option immediate verbose. 2. Change the current user to root. Exit. Pseudo su. 3. Display the available patch versions. Take a note of the output. Decly describe component. If we want to perform a patch precheck without actually applying the patch, we would pass the parameter precheck to the command. 4. Update the DB system. Decline update server. 5. Retrieve details on the created job. Pass to the command the job ID taken from the preceding step. Repeat running the same command to monitor the progress of the job. In my case, the job took one hour to finish. Decline describe job I jobbed. 6. After the job is concluded, verify it was successful. Decline describe component. Patching DB home can be done from OCI console and DBCLI as described below. Before applying patching on a database home, stop the users from accessing the database, 
and take a backup on the databases running from that home. 1. In the OCI console, under the Resources section, click on the Databases link DB link. The database page details will display. 2. Under the Resources section, click on the Updates link. Check out the available patches and upgrades. We can apply the patch on the OCI console. Patching DB Home Thrown DB CLI. 1. If you are not already connected, connect to the system using PuTTY and change the current user to Oracle. Pseudo su Oracle. 2. Make sure the database is up and running. If not, start it up. 3. Change the current user to root. Pseudo su. 4. Display the database home IDs. Decline list databases. 5. Update the database. Pass to the command the database home ID returned by the preceding step. Decline update BOM ID B home ID. 6. Retrieve details on the created job. Pass to the command the job ID taken from the preceding step. Decline describe job I jobbed. 7. After the job is concluded, verify it was successful. Decline describe component. 8. In the OCI console, refresh the database page details and check out the value of the database version.